Hello everybody, in a previous Rhino demo, I have shown a method of scaling an object to overall dimension. And in the comments section, one of the subscribers, Oliver R, has shared an excellent alternative method. And in this video, I would like to share his methods. Okay, let's start. By the way, thanks Oliver for sharing with us such great tips. Okay, so um, let's head back to the Rhino scene. Now, what I want to do as per the previous uh, demo is to have this object scale to have a breadth of uh, 30 mm over here. Now it's uh, less than 30. Okay, so the alternative methods involve using the box edit, which we can access by going to the menu panel and display the box edit. Okay, so this is the box edit uh, window. And in order for us to transform the object, we can simply select it and then change the parameters within the box edit. Okay, I reckon. The thing that we want to change actually the size and it is um we want it to be sized uniformly with the dimension over here which corresponds to to the x-axis being set to uh, 30 millimeters so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this uh to uniform and before that you might want to you know go to the options and set which is the uh, axis that, that you want to change. Okay, so the axis that I want to change is actually, as I mentioned, the x axis. So make sure that you have the uniform, uh, the x uh, axis are enabled. So we click on the uniform and then we type uh, 30. Okay. But for some reason unknown to me, it seems that the scaling is not really uh, proportional. Okay, you can see that it's kind of stretched over here and it looks kind of stretched in this direction as well so um i'm not too sure what's causing this but anyway um instead of using the size we can also extract the skill um result in the x-axis when we are scaling to this uh, dimension okay in this case here you notice let, let me repeat this again so if i were to set this to 30 you notice that the scaling is um in the x-axis is changed to 2.519 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and do a copy and instead of using the size for our transformation i will use the scale option for our transformation okay so i come over here okay and then i will uh, click the uniform okay and then paste okay the the size that we have um, copied okay and because we have enabled uniform the value will be propagated in all the other axes namely the y and z as well and you notice that the proportional scaling seems to be uh, enabled okay and then once you are happy with this, you can click the apply. Okay, yeah. So I think this is actually easier method. Okay, in most circumstances. Okay, and with that, I come to the end of this demo, and I'd like to thank Oliver again for this excellent method. Okay, see you. Bye.